all right in this very very quick video i'm gonna show you something that i forgot to actually uh, mention in the controller video which should this should have been part of that but it's already uploaded so what i want to talk about is flash messages so we want, when we save something i want to display some sort of a message saying that we actually did that so let's go to sublime and let's go to the let's use the category controller while we are it's while it's still open so i'm gonna go to the new function and right after we persist all that stuff before we redirect to the index i want to add a message so how you do that you do you do this and you so just doing this and add flash as you can see the first function is going to add a flash message so flash messages are so, so let me just show you what a flash flash message looks like okay so this is how you set one so this first one is the key so it could be information so let me just do info and at the bottom is some sort of a message so let's do added successfully like that okay so uh, this is how we set a message and this is actually is so beneath under the hood it's doing something like this so it's doing this get session uh no not get session and it's actually not this it's uh, actually a request so uh okay. request because the request is what contains the session so it's get session like that and get it flash god damn get flash bag and it's doing add like that calling the add function which is going to add a flash message to the session so flash messages are based on sessions and that's all i'm gonna say about it because if i go further they might just you know confuse you or something else so let's just keep it basic for beginners so this is a flash message i want to display this so let's go to the index dot uh, okay so it's category so let's do current index.html.twig and where, we, where I want to display this is just category index so let's do it right here so how do you display a message so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually loop through the messages in the app.flashes like this so you could have multiple multiple flash messages like uh, like in here and but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through this so in this case we already have one so it's going to only execute once so let's go ahead and do for like that so for each uh, message inside the app dot flashes and what we call it info so that's what we're gonna look for info and let's go back and right here we want to display a message so let's display a div and we are using bootstrap so let's display an alert so alert alert success and within that we want to display the message that we got so how we do that simply just go ahead and display the message that you are looking for right here so let's go ahead and try and see if this is going to work so what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this and we are we're going to add something like uh, god damn it let's do spot and actually it should be spot like that and then it should be spot so i'm gonna hit save and as you can see when i go back to the index i index i got this message so message it could be dismissible you can have that dismiss button right here so i'm not gonna bother with that but that's just some bootstrap stuff so as you can see i have this message but if i go ahead and refresh um it's not there anymore so one thing you need to, you need to know about flash messages and they are only stored once so once you refresh it's going to get get deleted from the session okay so that's how they basically work and that's a flash message so let's go ahead and do something in the update so let's just copy this and paste it in the update so edit mm -hmm. yeah let's do it right here so like that it's an info and you know we can do update it successfully and what i'm gonna do right now is i'm just gonna to keep this info because uh, in the index i don't want to change that so it's going to actually this is in the category 
edit so actually I have to copy this from the index so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna put it in the category right here so we can do like uh, a warning just for the sake of change so warning like that and let's go ahead and edit this so as you can see we don't have a message so we're gonna do sport sport I uh, actually run a lot of ideas so if I hit update you can see updated successfully so this should be green not yellow like this you know do your thing with the color scheme and all that stuff so those are basically uh, flash messages that's all basically what I wanted to cover in this because I forgot to talk about to talk about them in the in the controller video so I thought maybe I can make like a very very quick video talking about them so those are how you can use them and that's pretty much all there is to it so before I end this video I uh, just want to mention something so in here as you can see uh, what I did is just I showed the flash me the flash messages with the as you can see key info so you can display all the keys that you have by doing this and in this case what you're gonna what you're gonna get is you're gonna get messages not a message but messages like this so what you need to do is actually do another for loop inside so for each message inside messages like this and then you can go ahead and do that so right now for every single uh, you know flash message that you have it's going to be displayed for you but in the case where we did you want a, cer a certain one you can use the key to do that so you know you can do info and it's going to get you just the info a single message from the info okay so that's uh, probably the last thing that i want to talk about so thank you guys for watching sorry if, the, if this was a waste of time and i'll see you guys in the next video